le matin, a tiré du livre des autres. Exode chapitre 12, verset 1 à 17. From the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 12, from verse 1 to 17. Oui, Exodus si ton. Ota et ton biao. Il y a raison à quoi ton titan. Donc il y a fort ton moutou à ou. Yeah, you have a way maker. And no one can lose his life in order to get in the evil hands. We take the Bible and read it. Show us the way in order not to fight in the evil hands. May each of us receive sanctification, seek it, and receive it. May your word work out through our lives in that sense. In order to know you perfectly, in the name of Jesus, What is the event of today? Today, the whole world is shouting and jumping. They are eating and drinking. Saying that, let me to Juwai do. They are celebrating the Passover. Juwai. Do she po ye we si Juwai do we miti. Pretending that they are celebrating the Passover of the Lord. Amen. From this. Juwai ye we de. Na sa do do tonde me. Na o belo pe te ko bodo ye Jesu. From this, the Lord took the occasion in order to set a test in that event by setting his son Jesus and make it people to remember and celebrate that day. He put a test in it. He put a test, a leaven, in order to make it very sweet. Okay. To make it sweeter. But and the salvation of the Lord. No one shall say that. He miss, it miss someone on this earth. But it will be testified that this one has been poured over all our lives. And those one who want it, they receive it. Those one who don't want it, they reject it. They don't keep or take someone forcibly. It's a free of charge. If you want, receive it. If you don't want, let it down. It's here that we are observing that. It's not something to be let down. Because no one don't want to be a slave on this earth. Even all those children 
are aware that being a slave is not something good at all. And by entertaining with them, they shall reply saying that, oh, you are my father. You shouldn't speak to me as I have been bought. You bring forth to me. While speaking to me, I shall notice that it's my father who is addressing to me. Don't you notice it through their behavior? All those who got children observe them. When you commend him in a little time, at a given time, he will say, oh, I'm tired. I'm fed up with it. When you hear that uh, he's uh, fed up, he's tired, he's, he's telling you that you shall put a point, a stop to your command. It means that human being, be it a small or the old one, we strive, we make effort to be delivered, to be freed. We want this one more. No one would like to be slave. Because being slave, there is something inside it that is... Uh, and bearable. It's not bearable at all. But you know to honor. And one flee from it. But and when you find the occasion to free yourself, you will run away in order to get your freedom. So, what the Lord is making of his symbolism here by setting out this celebration as a feast, it's a convenient that all the believers shall seek the fundamental, the foundation of that event. Passing Passover feast. Here is a foundation. It's a God who said it. To wani bodo vive si sena yokwet on leko daliwebu. Bodo do kuyene ayi. It's a through his compassion and his love. love that he set up this feast. Fie boni. Such is the way by which it passes. By having mercy and compassion. You know the compassion. If someone tell you I have compassion for you, it means that he take himself into your place and uh, support and see the suffering that you have been going through and that uh, he will support it together with you. No, I have compassion for you. you no it's not through our mouth. No no. Having compassion for people today, it's uh, at the limit of our lips. Because it's not a truthful compassion. This one is uh, talking about evil around people. To talk evil of the people that they take, pretending that they have compassion for you. 
Here is the compassion of the Lord. This is what he has, it has done. Observe with what this compassion has done. His son, his children were undergoing slavery. His promised children. The children that he promised to his servant Abraham. They were under the yoke of slavery. We used to listen to this kind of gospel as it happened that they went through slavery. It's a bad head of state who came, a bad king who came at that epoch and sent them to slavery. Under the authority of another king, all those Israelites were king. The very important personalities. They were respected people. But when this evil and very bad king came up over the power, he transformed them into slaves. His name is Pharaoh. This king is so wicked from his heart. He pay any respect to God. And he didn't know the glory of the Lord. He is a headstrong man. He used to make God as his equal. He's a kind of man that is very dark. Very dark guy. That's why we shall pray. We shall pray and beseech the Lord in order not to make a darkened man to take power. You know the kind of evil person, very dark. If you get into business with a dark man, your business won't go further at all. Someone who is dark in his heart, while in the assembly, he never does anything. And uh, he is not grateful to the Lord. He used to say God used to do bad things for him. But and the God is the one who shall be condemned. The one who offended him. He will be the accuser. Be the accusing all the time God. And the position, social position that God propels him and his status, he forgot totally praising the Lord through those big things that the Lord does for him. This kind of man, you are taking, making business with him, if you are working together with him, even if you offer him your social position, it won't be, he won't be grateful to you. Never. They don't know how to say thank you. They don't know how to say thank you. Oh, you have done a lot. Oh, you have done a lot for me. They miss telling or saying such a thing to the neighbor. 
because of a wickedness that abides in their heart. This king is very so is very wicked. Till the Lord wake up from his throne and said, I will set him as an interdict. I will take him as a prohibited event. And all the men on the earth will know that there is no one who equals me. No one equals me. That's why the evil that abide in him, he receive a lot. In this morning, on that kind memorial day that we are celebrating, what kind of thing you will, re you will receive sufficiently. Say, listen, King Pharaoh, he received evil upon evils. And that what the Lord will be doing and make him humble himself and hide himself, he never did it, but he continued talking openly and uh, show, himself that show himself that he is someone okay. on this earth. Do you understand? That's why this morning, what kind of people you are? On what favor God will stand up from his throne on your favor? In order to receive abundantly, is it the peace? Is it the healing? Lifting up? Faith increasing that you'll receive abundantly this morning. Repentance upon repentance that you'll receive proficiously. Be obedient to the Lord and the happiness will be added to happiness and you will receive it in abundance. Or are you going to be among the category of people toward whom the Lord stand up awkwardly in a bad way in order to take them as examples I preserve him life in order to give him as example. And the people will know that no one shall underestimate me. Say, listen. Does your being headstrong, doesn't this one increase by hazard? And the heaven is hearing about it, and even the earth also. The gospel of God doesn't have any impact on your life. The Holy Spirit touching you through your sleep, this one doesn't have any impact on you. It's not to send you anymore. If it is so for you, you will become an example, a prohibitive in example. See, listen, Mwenji. observe it quite well. What the Lord has said, promised to do here, 
It is being held strong from one side to another that bring about this bad situation for the king. To take ones being equal to the Lord, this is this event that bring about Passover. Oh, children, what will the Lord will make you of? What are you disputing with the Lord? Don't dispute anything with the Lord. Let no one here this morning dispute anything with God. It is Pharaoh who disputed with him. Nino <laughs> The event of dispute was so hard that it was sent message to Moses who transferred who transferred the message to him, and uh, he woke up and said, till whom this can happen? No. And uh, he called upon his magicians to come, and they, in order to encounter, go against the Lord, even that happened, because he said that, oh, Moses set up a cane, which has been transformed into a snake before him. After calling his magicians, he urged them to do such thing, and they promised him that they, they will do as the same, and it happened, and uh, he was there competing with the Lord. Wait, wait. Yeah. The bigger of his throne. He yeah, the elders, the Ill, he called upon the elders and mm. magician of his throne, of his council. And this, and this elder said that this can't up uh, uh, passing like that. Yeah, these elders said nothing as such can pass. Okay. Have you understood? They said no, nothing as such can happen. We who are here supporting you, surrounding your throne, we are not him. We are not here vainly. We have something upon which we count. And at the day of demonstration, we shall demonstrate. We shall show things to people. Call upon different people, elders. With a different magical practice. Moses sat down quite well. He was not afraid at all. His snake was going up and down, up and down. The snake of the Lord. The serpent is going around. And those belonging to Pharaoh came they set down their different staffs 
and uh, those roads, those staffs, has been transformed into serpents. Big, very big serpents. Very big and giant serpent. The serpent of the Lord swallowed all the big and giant serpent of Pharaoh. After swallowing, the, swallowing them, the serpent continued passing by, going up and down, asking them questions. And we shall notice through this one that there is the biggest serpent that belongs to the Lord. And a believer shouldn't be afraid of a different practice operated by a magician or a wizard. This is what happened. In being held strong against the Lord, the Lord operated different events, showing him some things. A little while, he will say, okay, he, he's, he hold up. A little while, another time, he will say, no, he will keep on going. No one shall move. He was behind this. And the Lord stood up from his throne and said, Today he shall give freedom to you. The limit to which I observe him, I put a stop there. He will be lamenting and I give you order to go. You just practice what I have told you. We are here not to practice what our neighbors is telling for each other. It's not this one that we'll be listening to. Jesus Jesus said, man has been born in order to hear what comes from God's mouth. So once on this earth, we are here to listen to what comes out from God's mouth. And what getting, getting out from God's mouth that we must do in order to live. What get out from God's mouth will make us live. It will give us freedom. You won't be bound by any other rope. But if you listen to what get out from your neighbor's mouth, you will be all the time in chain. Yes, sir. 
they hear about it? Peter, you see. What did they hear? It is here that God talked to Aaron and Moses to tell the congregation to take one year old lamb or one year old goat and uh, we'll take care of him and on the 14th day of that month he shall be killed after killing it they will get its blood in a basin after receiving its blood the residents in which they dwell on the land of Egypt they should put that blood on the doorpost of the door and also on the lentil such as one event in the house in the chamber they are living where they used to sleep this blood will make difference this blood shall be painted on that house too the Lord said, in that day by night, he shall go through Egypt. I, God, will pass through Egypt. And listen, I will see the blood and the cane with which I shall beat or smite Egypt won't touch you. No one get out from that blood. Be under the shade of that blood. If an agitated man was going up and down and uh, didn't dwell under the blood and uh, if he happened to encounter a danger, is it the case of God? I will see the blood. That blood will make difference between you and the others. And the punishment that get down on Egypt country, you won't test, you, you won't be touched. This chastisement won't touch you at all. You will hear that things, bad events, were happening. And uh, you will see also those bad events happening. It's not your concern. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not your concern. Do you know it's not your concern? From the Lord. From the heaven. The heaven will make you different, be different from the, for the other. It's not your, your concern. You will hear with your ears. With your eye, you will see that bad events are happening on this earth. But you are not concerned. Why it's not your concern? The practice that I address to you to do, I see it. I will remove that shaft. The staff will pass over your house. This stick won't enter any place to hit anything. So we are living in a house. Nevertheless, we are not living in a house before God. Do you hear about it? We have, we have 
a house. Nevertheless, before God, we don't have a house. Because God has got that stick that can open one's door and enter and uh, get to you. It can pass through windows and get to you. It can split the walls and get to you. So the most important protection, that one comes from the hand of the Lord. Nothing of those things can cover uh, or protect us. The fence and wall that we erect can't protect us. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, the different doors that we place can't protect us. Let's say, for example, if God let pass evil to come to you, it will pass easily. The Lord said that that practice that will operate through Egypt, this is what he called the Passover, the Lord's Passover. And this one, I will challenge the whole Egypt. I will smite them and smite all the gods that were around them. All those different gods, idols that they encount, the evil spirit with which they have a covenant, I will smite all of them. Our God is not a vain God. Your God is not a vain, unuseful God. No. He used to beat and break the other idols and gods. And there is no other evil God to stand up and challenge him and hit him. I will smite all the God that Egyptians rely on. And none of them can move. It means that Egypt country has very bad and very hard covenant with evil spirits. But you know, and they rely on them. As they Oh, they have a very big and a double wizard and witchcraft. As the same thing as our country here. Isn't it our country that has been nicknamed as the uh, Diablo? The foundation of the devil? Isn't it our name? Such is the way the worldly people know our country. But God is operating his works in order to transform this name to be the foundation of God. That in this country, people worship more God than everything. That witchcraft is going, is decreasing. And uh, idolaters, followers are reduced. So they Though they put plenty money around it, it shall lack people. It shall lack people. It shall lack people in the name of Jesus Christ.
Monu Jeku. Understand it? To Zayne me. In that night, me do po do po na do. Ye na do boro cha cha chu chu eto. Each household, each person shall eat expressly that God. Are you hunting the people? Me na me. Me de ma ti ketin. Bo ando eko eko kwere bo na so do adoji. Me de ma ando adoji. No leftover shall remain. Swear me from this. Aklama do ton we na do do. It shall be eaten with unleavened bread. Ama vive we kana so do do. It shall also be eaten with bitter leaves. Bo me kana me ye mana je kete kete bo fie si na glala ton we na me. It shall be. Odo o menwe ton koko le koko. It shall be roasted or grilled, not to boil with water, and uh, it shall be done all over with. Inner parts. Eh, no. We do we not do 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 po. We do po meton. Eh, na chado. We are we talk go bo. Ye na do pe do. But eh, na yin do do seto sanlome. If a household is unable to eat the goat in question, he shall join the other, the second house, and together they shall finish off with that goat. Eh, kato nula do by eating. Afok pani no afok. May their shoes be on their feet in order to prepare their luggage and get it their waist to keep upon the chaff that they shall walk with. Because during the journey, it might ask for putting one's stick upon the ground before moving. Do you know the place that need to set one shaft? If you went to Holy Region side, it's a, a clay country. If there is a dew that uh, Poured down on it. It's a very sleepy. It's not easy at all. If you set up once of your food, it will go and go deeper and stop at a, li a given limit. Before you move up the second food, you shall see a support that you shall climb to. And since the Lord knows the places, the different places they are moving by, He warned them to keep seriously a road, a stick, by walking. To be ready for the preparation, and when the time comes, no one shall be there delaying and making people going backward. From this, he, the God, he will make a king of Pharaoh to accept and deliver them. Go freely and serve your God. What he was refusing to do before, I, I God, will take him seriously with force and uh, he will make what he don't want to make. Me no me. Be under that blood. Me no and uh, you will do my work. Me don't any me Tell them not to get out from the blood. They do love bona me ni. Such is the way they shall eat the Passover to me. But you know and I will do my work. 
This man means that the man worshipping God God used to give the portion that he has to do behind him. And what he, God, will be doing before you, he will undertake it doing it. May everyone understand this. And you will be doing as his follower, and he, God, will be before you doing his. You shall see and observe what am I doing behind my God, following my God. And before me, God will be showing that he is my Lord. He will be showing before me that he is God. And uh, he is uh, going together with him he is going together with me. And the frightening things to be removed from the streets. And it won't be you who will be taking control over the evil spirit, but God who will be giving commandment and ordering those evil spirits to remove. Let's give the room, let's give the place to God in order to take commandment, to take control over everything before us. At the moment we, we become obedient to his words, we start in, we start in obeying his word. We start in obeying his word. Let let, let obedience start in working in this assembly. Because it is through the obedience that Israelite receives salvation from God. Listen, human being doesn't want the freedom. Everywhere they passed, they were swore that was lifted against them. Very few are those people who got back into peace with them. Don't neglect, don't forget, don't hate the voice of the one who is working over your liberation. The one who is working over your freedom. The one who wants your freedom. Be obedient to him. Why being headstrong is working against us? If they were stubborn as they, if they were stubborn as we people of today, can we be there celebrating Passover? And we will be pretending that we are celebrating Easter. If we're going to explain Passover, we were the practice of moving from a starting point from a place to another place show up through this event. Oh, those who are celebrating Easter today, are they moving from a place to another? What is happening, really? 
with the assembly of today. Today we shall move. We must move. By celebrating the pass by Passover, Israelite, Israelite move from one place to another. Nowadays, in our turn, obligatory, we must have a moving forward. It is compulsory. And you shall observe now. Is God is asking us to prepare our luggage to move with it? How will we move from one place to another? Mina session, mina dot bodali. The movement shall be done spiritually speaking. From this, the sins, the offenses, the trespasses that make you hindered from God, you shall get out, get out from this. The sins that keep you as a slave under the burden of the devil you shall move out from this. What are you going to set? The country we are aiming at the spiritual country that we shall get to is called the accepted the accepted by God. We shall leave the hand of his, of his sins to get into the hand of accepted hand of God. The one who has been accepted. Such is my country. Such is your country. This is the place you want to reach. Each of us should be, shall be the one who has been accepted by God. We won't be anymore the rejected one. The sin that will cause your rejection you shall move out from this one. Your Lord will be observing that you are moving forward. As Israelites get out from the country of Egypt, in the same way, each of us shall get out from the hands of Satan. We will be the accepted one. The Lord has set up a country that has been called the accepted one. Have you already reached that country? Such is the place, the limit to which our work is going. It's not, oh, we have come here and known one another. Oh, that person loved me too much. If he doesn't see me, he never sleeps. If I don't see him, I never sleep. I don't know what put together our souls. You are deceiving yourself. You are deceiving yourself. Something putting together your souls. What make you together? You have come to raise up from the dead and you are getting into companion with the dead. How can we be together with a dead one. Can you go to the hospital and uh, for the fact that uh, you, are, you are sick and uh, collide with uh, the one who is uh, on his bed of sickness? Can you 
Why people, doctors, used to put separateness between the two sick in the same room? They are living using the same room. It means that the sick man can't get into companion with his, with his neighbor. We shall befriend with healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you taking, getting into companion with your healing? Or, or you are befriend with uh, another sick, your neighbor who is also sick. Mm -hmm. Being together, grouping together with a sick, you can't receive a healing through your sickness. See, listen, we are observing here what happened and Passover existed. Oh, they shed blood. Oh, blood has been shed. Oh, and this blood constitutes a sign upon the distinguished of the Lord. That's why when the moment was moving, the Lord, in order to show that human, human being life the life of human being need forcibly that a blood shall constitute a sign upon his life and as he showed it throughout Israelite it's also convenient to be shown throughout the whole world. And if the whole world hear about the work operated by the blood of the Lamb, his blood, when he shed it, it will work over as such in throughout the whole world too. That's why when Jesus was passing, John the baptizer showed him saying that such here is the Lamb of, of God. The Lamb provided to the whole world in order to remove all the sins from men. And men shall be the accepted one from God. They will be among those who have peace with God. You will have peace with God. That's why that bring about the arrival of Jesus. The quarrel, the enmity that existed between we, men, and uh, Jesus. God has taken his son, Jesus Christ, in order to end it up that quarrel. As God take that one in order to quench the enmity that existed through the blood of the Lamb, in the same way God took the blood of Jesus in order to make stop to the enmity or quarrel that exists between you and I, between one another, with God. From this, it is exactly on those moments that they celebrate the Passover 
it's a equal exactly to the same day, day that they crucified Jesus. See, listen. The Lord, He has capacity over His people. He has the capacity. That's why. He set up different days for rest, and his people won't do anything. And such is what they shall do. His Passover. They shall celebrate the Passover in order to honor him. You will celebrate it in order to honor me. You shall be grateful, knowing honor, celebrating honor to me. Such is what I did and it finished. But its memorial will never end up by you. In order to make know your children where you come from, that you have been born through my power. You are nothing nowadays if I didn't do this one for you. It's I who put you aside. The memorial shall be celebrated. And my respect shall abide in your household. Father shall know. Father, mother will know. We have it. All the children shall obey me in the different residences that I shall place you. Oh, the places that I will build up for you, you will use those places in my, in my respect. But and here I see you in my respect. I will bless you. I won't rebel against you. I won't go against you. You won't, I won't hate you. I will love you. And uh, through my love, I will dwell in your love every time. Every time. You will be living in the source of my love. And nothing else on this earth can change you becoming slave under someone. I have erased it completely. It will never happen with you again. Unless the day I notice that you hate me. If I see my hatred by you, so you have such problems. You have such problems. And uh, you will see the consequences. The evil thing that I remove from your, from your life will cover you again. The bad hand will take you. Because you hate me. I revenge you, I defend you, and at the end, you hate me. For the fact that you have done so, all your enemy will, be, will become powerful over you. They will be more powerful than you. You will be less before your enemies. May, the, may, may God prevent us from this. Observe what the world is saying. And uh, through this memorial day, 
As a law, a commandment set up by God, that they must celebrate it each year. If a year shows up, it shall be celebrated quite obligatory. And this celebration shall last seven days. Take heed. The first day, a holy assembly, a holy worshiping shall be celebrated. This one is very deep. This morning, are we celebrating a holy worshiping celebration? Is it holy? You're serving. You shall establish a holy celebration, worshiping to me. Sanctification celebration. Sanctification church. Who is uh, practicing this one? Baba Kere. Only Baba, Baba, Padre. Only Padre. Wabo. Have you come to attend a Meyer or Paddle Church or a Holy Church? There is a church, there is an assembly that has been called what? A Holy One. You are you who gather together in the cabin there. Are you celebrating a holy assembly? Or oh, you children, have you come to attend a holy church? Are you baby? Oh, Kaya. The Lord used to call a given assembly. Is your assembly holy? How can we manage in our turn in order to make our worshiping becoming holy before God? Remove. Let down all your robe, let down all your cane, and straighten your heart before God in order to be there for Him and receive power from Him. Tell the truth to your God. And may the truthful God see your truth in order to make you upright. This is good and convenient to us. Do not be hypocrite before God. Let each of us get out from hypocrisy. In order to make show upon your life the power that Jesus is for you. That God is in Jesus Christ for you. But, Jesus, but God is in Jesus Christ for you. It is compulsory that we must have it. And let's stop gathering together for the paddle church doing. Those who live in a mire or paddle, it's not good at all. You are not holy before God. God wants you to be pure and you don't want to be holy. Since you, want, you don't want to be pure, how can things stand? The first day you shall celebrate the holy assembly before me. 
veut célébrer la holy assembly before me. I, God, shall see that each of us pour out his heart before him. May all the children get out hiding their sins. What kind of sins are you hiding? It's not hidden before God. That's why you are not pure. That's why you can't be holy. Save your life. May each of us save our lives. This one will be good. The Lord will show his glory upon our lives. And the objective for which he sent his Unique son Jesus, this one will be, will be accomplished over our lives. We will understand things. We will be side by side with the heavenly, the kingdom of heaven. We will be side by side with the kingdom of heaven. As it is side by side with Jesus. Because you abide in Jesus. As the heaven of God is set and is, it will be so for you too. Don't you hear that he said? The Father loves me so much and that he set up the kingdom of God on your behalf. He Establish it on your behalf. He set it up on our behalf. It is set up in on your behalf, the kingdom of heaven. Can we miss what has been dedicated to us? Several people don't know the feast they are celebrating. In the same way, several don't understand the event that has been established and they took Jesus Christ to be the lamb, the new lamb for us. They don't know it at all. But And they are there being in agitation. Some people went to the cemetery churchyard and uh, spent night in order to walk the following day, pretending that they are watching over the resurrection of Jesus in the cemetery. By 4 or 5 o'clock a.m., they started shouting, pretending that they saw Jesus wake up or resurrected. And they started playing drums. Play drums from the cemetery till... Man loves how to amuse. Oh, Malé, don't you love how to entertain, amuse? Do you know amusement? By going, man used to set up a stage of amusement. Children used to and mills through the sand on the ground, and also the lies, the amusement of big people. They put a stage of amusement by the side of the worshiping of God. The scriptures, the word of God, never tell us to go to the cemetery. We have a rendezvous at the kingdom of God. We have an appointment with the gospel, with scriptures of God. The Lord Jesus 
made an appointment to you for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Such are our different rendezvous. Don't allow that you miss this one. From there, if you see the symbolism that lies in the blood of Israelite, you will see that and notice that such is the same symbolism for the whole people living under the sun. The blood of Jesus will be signed upon us, will be signed upon each of us for those who let their whole life to the blood, to him. From this, what remains to you in order to be done? If something remains, the stage is set up before you by the devil that prevents you to see the true full gospel of God. You shall move away your head from all those things. Can you do it like that? It is the fact they remove a head from Egypt's country. Before God gave a commandment saying, okay, start. They start walking. Those one who are not ready, can they move together in the same way at the same time with those who are moving? Such is the way the blood has been poured down. Those one who won't repent, it means that they set the face, the eyes on the sins more than that. They, they agree with the they agree with the, with the sweetness of uh, sins. So, enemy, from there, what Jesus Christ's blood symbolizes will pass away. They will, leave, they will lack it. They will miss it. I will see the blood upon them, and nothing will touch you. In the same way, I will see the blood upon your life. I will see the blood of Jesus upon you. I won't judge you anymore. Those one on whom the blood is won't be condemned. But someone upon which I don't see the blood of Jesus, all of them should, will show up before my judgment. That's why let, let's go to Roman scriptures, chapter 8. Let's start from the beginning. Verse now. There is therefore now no condemnation for those for those who are in Christ Jesus. Indeed, the law, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sins and death. Do for something impossible for the law 
Because weakened by the flesh, God has condemned sins upon the flesh by sending for sake of sins his, his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin. And this one in order that just requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh but according to the spirit Yeah. For those to who indeed who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. To set the mind on the flesh is death. But to set the mind on the spirit, oh. it is life and peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone to take just one verse. Oh, Medenise verse three. Someone to take verse three. In order to preach and to speak about it, will he stumble or not? He will stumble. Oh, we for we we wait on the day not day tomorrow. Verses of the Bible, one explains another. One verse of the Bible to the Bible of 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 the 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 mind of God, the limit to which God wants to speak and explain things to. If you observe here, Let's observe from the beginning. It is said now. Therefore now. Oh. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. What are they doing? And they are those people who abide in Jesus Christ. When can we say that someone abide in Jesus Christ? Is it simply by shouting, Jesus Christ, Jesus, Jesus, that you abide in Christ? Israel, you call it a and Though 
Oklu no ma o mi nde ma anjo bo ye ma zan hun lo wa do de kru no do do wa nu na jo kai nu ma anjo if nu na jo e ta tu nu na jo e ma hin nu e do e bai mi u le lo so to e be nu e kru no do bo mi to si se apo o wa lo me de vo to bo do jo nu e kru no do bo ase do blo Do me me po we to ganto na to wa nwe do kru no te because all of us we are striving in order to do what the lord has commanded me de ton ya wu me de ton someone will be swifter quicker ma, than the other ma po me ma ko je ji ton blo don't look at that one who has an taken anything e no mi po holo me if you observe the word o kru no na jiro je do me le ko ni bayi the word the lord give you opportunity that everyone shall do it that no one shall miss it by doing it it's something compulsory that we shall do if someone is criticizing saying something about about it by doing it too for a long time he will execute it later when we now to be by him and our you know day day a fine and a bo di we a lo pade do di do na we we nwo na go bo bo je bi bayi je ma na so ayiro we do nja bi bayi gbe wa mu by practicing it he won't come to you and warn you saying that because there was a time he refused practicing it but undertaking the practice he won't come to you and notify it to you no he will do so his thing silently continually do not to lele do am not tired ye mi because he will be thinking that you you want to be like him no e do e mi te man am be ogbesan to him what he was saying what he is saying won't have any impact on your life do ma we do because it's god who said it just we do it is jesus who said it just we do na jesus who sent it unye ye ka yi ho eton to wa so ni and uh, you take into account his word and you practice what he said the devil used to speak through several people and after thinking they let it down they remove from it and choose to do what god has said as the example given by Jesus in the Bible, there was a man who got two children. He told the first son, Oh, go to my farm. In order to farm, in order to, farm, in order to do something in the field without considering the one who is speaking who was speaking to him he gave him mockery it's not mockery he refused he refused he refused Egbe. he refused Egbe. he refused he refused categorically he didn't consider that it was his father who was speaking to him the father went to the second son why iglesia member was and mommy. told the latter go to my farm and a weed yakodo hontun to eleko you and your friends yeyin hontun to enu gbogbe mi do na fe to iglesia member was on the ground if they are really your friend they shall bow down and walk hard in my farm via we told na yi gba the second son say oh expressly or oh, i shall go Oh, I'm ready to go. I'm going already. I will join my partners and I will go there to work. Now, he who, who promised never go. The first one, the first son, bowed down and think a lot. He get conscious. Oh, it's my father who spoke to me. And I didn't consider him and uh, I reply in a bad way to him. He get conscious. He was troubled in his heart. I can't act in that sense. 
et chité. He got up. He took all the instruments concerning the farm and asked for his, bro his friends who loved him and they went to work on the farm. And Jesus asked this question. Among the both sons, who among them do or does the will of his father? And the whole assembly responded, it is the first son. The Lord said, those who are like, those who are refusing, they will become the first who accepted first. Because they come to practice the word of God. From this, we are seeing the first will be the last, and the last will, be, will become the first. Don't follow your neighbor's thoughts or your neighbor's behavior concerning the preaching that he hear over in a given day. Don't follow it. You don't know after parting, departing from you, how the Holy Spirit of God will touch him, impact his life. And uh, he will repent. And his word in your life will become a vaccination working through your life. And it will make you go backward. How much more it is a thanks, it is for the sake of the word of the neighbors that bring them moving backward. Say, listen. Now, verse no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit, there is a law. This law is called the law of the Spirit of life. The Spirit of life. Repeated. Have you given room to the spirit of life to touch you also? The law of the spirit of life is working upon those who abide in Jesus Christ. And they want have their mind set on fleshly things. For what reason? Because sins has been condemned. It has been condemned through the flesh of Jesus in order to provide we human beings on this flesh that's a good and new transformation to show up. That's why if someone is saying that the blood of Jesus has brought a grace, it remain what to do in order to fit that grace. If what one shall do in order to be worthy to grace, you will never be worthy to grace. Let's observe. Do you hear the name that the Holy Spirit has given to us in this morning? It is said, we are free. The Spirit of the Lord said, we are on the free layers. The two first 
missed. They have missed. Just quite a few are using sponge and soap. And water. With water. Have you understood? You know that not to be stained by the blood. You know that not to be stained by someone's blood. Why? Take heed. Among whom you are living. Is it in the category of those people that has been stained by people's life? People's blood? Are you among those one who are with vain things? They don't know the one to whom they have come. They don't ask after him. In order to belong to him, they are for this world. Take heed, pay attention. The day the Lord will sweep his assembly not to be swept. Because the sweeping day of the Lord is at hand, coming. It's coming throughout the households. Do not allow death to have place place upon our lives. Do not give him place to have place upon our lives. Do not allow bad sicknesses to have place upon our life. Do not allow pestilences, bad things starting happening over our lives. Let allow resurrection of Jesus Christ have a very big echo upon our lives. Let it be so. In order to make the echo of of being of being frigo, yeah, redeemed. To me. In brief, let know what. The word is saying. It is said that we have been redeemed by the by the law of the Lord. That says those who enter offended those things and break those different laws. None of them shall enter the kingdom of God. None of them shall enter. The one who stole before will never enter the kingdom of God. The one who commits adultery will never. The one who tells lies will never enter the kingdom of God. The idolaters will never enter the kingdom of God. The sacrifice operated by the Lord over the cross of Jesus put an end to all those things. The death that Jesus died upon the cross, this death said that those one who are not able to enter the kingdom of God before, let them come now. This is what the death of Jesus is showing. And more than that, he resurrected on the third day in order to revenge for that cause. In order to allow those who were prevented before to enter the kingdom to enter the kingdom now. 
We were not able to enter the kingdom before we have this opportunity to enter the kingdom of God. The death of Jesus paved the way to us. That's why when he breathed from the last time, there was a red curtain prevent covering this altar. And uh, everything which has been done here, none of you over there can see. Where you see, you sit down here, you, you shouldn't be there. On this side, no one can be there. It's only God and the priest. Only. And the priest himself, if he didn't behave as he should be, he will die at that place. Because that's why, that's why before his arrival on the altar, the priest shall perform his own sacrifice first. And the one for the sake of him, he will plead, he will plead, he will make the sac he will perform sacrifice on behalf. It's under the condition that God accepts the sacrifice that once here he will get out living. But if he didn't fulfill the good conditions, he will be removed while dead. He won't live anymore. The cane, he will be hit by the cane of God. And no one has this opportunity to get on the altar in order to remove the death. That's why something is set up, and once the priest is on the altar, he was linked with a chain that is very long, and the audience over there get this chain. And once celebrating, they will make move that chain and uh, withdraw the chain. And the priest is uh, compulsory to, to make a movement to make know that he is still living. If they don't hear anything as a sound, okay, they will conclude that he is dead. But if he give a good answer, by giving a good movement, it shows that he is living. Only that uh, the priest is uh, taking time at that place. Swear him. From this, I've lost this one. the curtain has split it it's from the, it's up. The, it's the swank. Split it from up. And at that day, when they show up to attend, they notice that the altar was played free, open. It showed so clearly that the place which, which was very difficult to enter has been rendered easy to enter now. It is said, split it from up to down. It's not from down to up. Who did so? Who did such a thing? It's only God. In order to show that he received also the pagans. And also the Gentiles didn't take care of reading the Bible, some verses, and through this one, 
they go against and rebel against each other. Do you hear what the sixth verse said? It is said, it has been given to some people to undertake, to work spiritually speaking. It has been given to some other people to have their mindset on the flesh things, fleshly things. Those one who set their mind on fleshly things, they are dedicated to death. But those who set their mind on spiritual things, it is life and peace that are our reward. <laughs> From this, <laughs> remove and left, move aside all your sins <laughs> in order to be among those who are taking care of uh, spiritual things. Get out from your evil things. Because something is at, at, it at end to happen. The one who went on the cross and died and on the third day he resurrected he wants to do something but he's still doing it now. Let's go through Revelation. Chapter 9, verse 4. So you did not ye. Now ye ni ma wa nyanya do ogbe ayi gbaji ton lole. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth. Kavira amamunde or any green grove. Kavira atinde or any tree. But only those of mankind. Oh, Sava. Who have not the seal of God upon the foreheads. What? Come. Are you going to be saved from this? What kind of seal are you? Just walk on them and it's more yellow you will be. Jesus came and died for you in order to make you receive that seal. To receive a given sign. It has been called the sign of God. The seal shall be before your forehead. So, God, by Jesus Christ, he has taken Jesus Christ to make a seal for those who abide in him, those who believe in him. Those who are in Jesus Christ won't encounter any evil things. On the day of disasters, when it will happen around people on this world, it has been said to the angels not to harm the green trees, the green leaves, to strike, to smite only men. All those men who haven't got any seal coming from God, they don't have a seal from God. So the death of Jesus Christ, he died over the cross. Its seal will be upon your forehead. Its blood that has been shed. The Lord is taking this one in order to take, to put a sign upon you. Don't say by your mouth that you abide only in Jesus. Speak to your children. That there is a seal that can come upon you. And for that sake, 
the destroying angels won't destroy all those people and in those moments. Tell me. Are we doing useless things? Is it in vain that there is a meeting, the church of God on this earth? Do you see the reason for why? That is the purpose for which once we show up, we should take, take, sit down and quietly listening correctly in order to understand what comes from God and what the destroyer will be doing after. You young men, you young girls, if you if, if, if not after your death you won't go to risk to, to, encounter, to enter the condemnation of God be patient and come to God and receive his seal take care of everything concerning spiritual because the angel, the destroyer, will pour down, will come on this earth. They will smite people. And the Lord ordered them, commanded them, that those one who shall be smitten will be those one who haven't got his seal. How can we? How can we qualify the case of COVID-19 and uh, several people, million people died through this one and uh, recently it has been reduced a little bit. God has removed slightly this one. It's not human being who succeeded removing it back. Who removed it back? It's God. It's a resurrection, death, it's a life and a resurrection that have impact on this. Those ones who went through that illness and uh, they got back to life, let them give thanks to God. Resurrection and life operated life upon their life. He make redemption. <laughs> okay. Me, yeah. Have mercy upon them. Thank you. Are you tired? No. You come here on which economy? No. We are on which economy? Hold on, let go here, Missy. Do you understand all the words? Many is on. Let practice them. But you know, Angel, you make hotel. And know that. And know that the angel destroyers have been deployed in the world, and they are smiting people apart from those who hide themselves and uh, receive Jesus Christ and receive the seal of God. We as man, we don't know the limit to which they, might, they will smite people. Is it after smiting people that uh, the advent of the Lord, the returning of the Lord will come? Who knows? You read the revelation. Does thing used to happen in that sense or not? When Balaam, the stubborn, was doing his uh, things, didn't he encounter a sword, a knife? Didn't he see? Isn't it the horse who told him that uh, it's uh, an invisible angel who came and uh, showing up this sword? And while going, you can be beheaded by this sword. And the Lord spoke to him. You are going on the way. Once you reach out the place, and I 
tell you something and you don't repeat, you will have problem with me. The one who works, spiritually speaking, who take care of spiritual activities, if God told him something, if God tells him something, he repeated, he practiced it. He won't to take into account the number of people he have behind. Oh, we are not numerous around this world. No. It's not the fact we are not numerous. Do it in order to be saved from the chastisement of God. Young men, go and do it in order to be saved from the chastisement, punishment of God. In order not to and mourn you, in order and not and to mourn you, to mourn you, no, to lament and upon and your account. Because they will observe you at your place and you will be no more there. Because you have erased your name from the book of life. You young girls, do not take your life at stake. Stop that one by prostituting with young men. It's not a good thing at all. Stop that. Let's come back in using a holy and spiritual life. At the moment, the resurrection is washing over some people, washing some people, come, come quickly in order to enter. May Jesus be with you.
and nothing can spread them. It's a, this kind of voice that strengthens us and giving us confidence. And whatever may be the situation, you won't let us down. That's why we thank you. For you are the truthful one. But one who did it. If you will lift up before the center. It's you who break down all the wizard and witch. And they always testify that you are the more powerful upon our life. We thank you. We give you thanks. That you don't transform our life be someone who hasn't got a checker. You are our checker. We thank you. You have done a lot. The moment you spend, you sanctify it for us. You apply it with us. You don't let us alone. But why any friends in the vein? We thank you. We have done the work. Glory be to Glory be to In the name of Jesus.